What's up guys, I'm Caddy here. Now today I'm bringing you guys the first battle of the IEP week 4, um, where we're against Osalupid Outrage, who had an absolutely terrifying team, I must admit. He had access to some absolutely incredible threats, including Mega Alakazam, Mega Lopunny, he also had Landorus Eye, and he's allowed to keep that because, um, so the bans to Ubers and things like that don't happen until after the season ends, so he's able to keep, for, keep it for this season at least. And that thing is just absolutely terrifying with Life Orb and everything like that. Salamence as well. While this isn't Mega Ments, it's still absolutely terrifying. I don't even know what to say about it. But um, <laughs> the thing I noticed about his draft though, which you guys can also see, it's down in the description, is that he has a distinct lack of Defoggers or Rapid Spinners or anything like that. The only thing he has is that Salamence which meant that Hazards was going to be extremely important. I wasn't too fussed about Rocks. Rocks wasn't the number one priority for me. What I identified was the really, really useful for this was going to be Sticky Web. Because if he brought the Sam and he brought the Lopunny, both of them rely on being able to outspeed. And once I got that web, those webs down, I knew for a fact that Hitmonlee was able to outspeed them, both of them, and Chinchino was clearly going to be able to outspeed both of them as well. So it was, and also the Latios as well. So with a slightly slowed down team, this team could really, really handle well. I had hit, hit um, Wall Breaker hit on Lee, um, for uh, mainly because he had some fairly slow threats, and any fast threats were able to be handled with. I mean, hit, Wall Breaker hit on Lee is just absolutely beautiful. Like for example, with the it easily two hit KOs defensive slow king with a resisted high jump kick. Which is just, yeah, I don't even know what to say about it. So the, the it's so great because you can come in on walls and things like that, and that you're able to one hit KO and nothing could switch in because you're gonna get that two hit KO after that as long as you outspeed on that second hit. Um, as well as that, I had specially defensive Umbreon because I knew I could take focus blasts. Okay, and once I got rid of the uh, gone for a knockoff or something like that onto the Landorus Eye. I knew that I was able to wall it even if it had the Focus Blast. I had the I had Scarfed um, Latios as well, just in case he brought the Dragon Dance Salamence. And also, um, I think it meant I outsped Lopunny and also Mega Alakazam outside of Sticky Web as well. Uh, the other thing I did, which you're go you guys are going to think, you think like my previous gimmicks are ridiculous. This, this brings my gimmicks to a whole new level. I brought a Calm Mind Baton Pass Livani, which was the point of it was was to Calm Mind pass Calm Mind boosts into my Mega Venusaur, which also had access to Amnesia. So within um, Calm, because I knew he was probably going to be bringing the Bronzong, I knew I could set up on that Baton Pass out into my Venusaur, and then if he wants to hard switch out into anything, I could get an Amnesia off, and then I was completely safe from the Landorus Eye, which is normally a counter to that. So I was so, so psyched to use this. So we're going to start the battle now before I start rambling too much. And you can, guys can see how it worked out. So he leads off with Lola as I led off with Jitterbug. And obviously the fake out is probably coming my way. So I was like, I've got to get out of that. I need to preserve the Sash on this Livani. So I go out into Venusaur because I knew for a fact I was fairly comfortable taking whatever I wanted to do. So he goes out into the Taco Bell, which is absolutely ideal. As I double out into the Jitterbug because I knew he was going to be going out. So I set up my sticky webs here. And I start going for these calm binds. So he does reveal he has the gyro ball. And I made a bit of a play here because I was worried that he may be packing the explosion. So it was a bit of, it's not 50-50, but there was a chance. So I decided to take that chance and risk it. I had the webs up, so I had two, um, his main sort of prominent threat here out of the way. Pretty much because most of my team would then outspeed. So I was like, I'm happy to take the risk. Go for another calm mind. So he does go for another gyro ball here. As I go for the bat and pass allowing me to pass out into my defensive Venusaur, and as you can see, a gyrable does absolutely nothing. So I go for the synthesis here, forgetting to mega up, don't don't ask me why. So I mega up here as I go for the amnesia, so I'm at sitting at defensive, plus two, plus three special defense, which is just absolutely disgusting. Now I couldn't really do a huge amount to this outside of Giga Drain, so I did have to sort of slowly, not necessarily stall it, but um, sort of work my way around it, and I knew for a fact this will probably be the turn he'd want to explode. So I decided to go for the Amnesia here, just in case he wants to go for the Explosion and go out into the Landorus. Because if he'd have gone for the Explosion, it does about 30%, something like that. And um, even at plus 3, I would still be struggling to with that Landorus. But I knew 
with an explosion and four special times four special defense, I'd be okay. So he goes down to JJ Jr., makes an absolutely excellent play, has the power herb fly. As I go for the sludge bomb, unfortunately, I don't get the poison. He puts me in a bit of a predicament there because I do have to go for the synthesis here, just in case he was going for anything else. And he does go for the dragon dance here. And this is where things get a little bit funny. So I go out into Jitterbug because I was like, I can sack that off. He's going to drop down, but he doesn't drop down. And I was like, wait, hold up. And then he's able to switch out into Lola from here. As I go for the foul play, does a, a reasonable amount here. And I was slightly confused about what was going on. But it means I can go out into Venusaur. I do lose my boosts, but I, I'd i done a reasonable amount of damage. He goes for the... Uh, brings himself out to plus one power-up punch. And I'm able to get the Sludge Bomb off just to get some damage. Venusaur had kind of done his job here. It would have been good to have been able to ward the Landorus. But I knew for a fact I wasn't able to. So I go for the poison jab here because I knew I outsped by like one point, I think. He goes out into the Landorus here. As he goes for the knockoff, predicting me to go out into most likely the Latios. As I'm able to get my own knockoff off, which is absolutely huge. Because it means that my uh, Umbreon can now wall this guy. But I do reveal the Scarf Ice Beam here, but he doesn't know that I'm Scarfed yet. So he goes out into the Headache. As I knew for a fact that actually my Umbreon pretty much walled this guy from here because um, any burns or anything like that I'd synchronize over. I had Heal Bell, I had Wish, and Foul Play does about 50%, yep, yeah, as you see there. And he does go for the T-Wave here, just ending up T-Waving himself. I decided to go for the Heal Bell here because he knew the only way he could win is to get Para Hacks and get up to plus one and start going for Outrages. So he does go for the Dragon Dance here as I just go for the Foul Play. Because I broke out of um, my paralysis using the heal bell. Goes out into Slippery here as he reveals he's a physical set. Which, um, which is okay because I knew I could take these. And I could go for the foul play doing a good amount of damage. As he does go for the knockoff to knock off my leftovers. But I'm back up to full health now. So a foul play will be able to carry him from there. It was even a crit but it was absolutely fine. And we can now stall out this headache. So we go, I go for the foul play as he goes for the slack off. Now... I want to make sure that I was completely safe, so I decided to go out into the Latios because I knew I could trick this guy using my Choice Scarf and he would be stuck into one move. So he ends up being stuck into Slack Off, so it is GG from here now. So unfortunately, you're not allowed to forfeit these matches, so we had to keep going with these. And eventually, I just go out into Where's Tran and um, just have to wait a little bit just for that power hacks. But no, it was an absolutely excellent game. I definitely put a lot of prep in for this one. I still, yeah, I absolutely loved that um, Amnesia set with the Mega Venusaur. It's just absolutely disgusting, especially when it's so bulky to start with. And um, he ends up, oh no, he doesn't end up getting paralyzed on this turn. I'm trying to remember when he does. I think it's this turn. It is this turn, and then that's the end of the match. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. It was certainly a really enjoyable one. Really scary to start with, but um, luckily everything I brought paid off in the end. Um... While Venusaur didn't do as much work as I hoped, he still took the Bronzong out of the way. And also, most importantly, brought that Salamence down to a really good amount of health. So it wrecked quite a lot. And the Sticky Webs definitely made a difference. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. And I will see you guys at the next one. McCaddy out.